Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fantastic. Guys, in this video, I'm back with another important topic in Dynatrace that is how to do the SSL monitoring in Dynatrace. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, kindly subscribe to our channel and also share with your friends. So without making any further delay, let's start. To do the SSL monitoring, we need to have some prerequisite steps. For example, we should have a SSL certificate and then we should have a web app for that okay then we should have active gate in the Dynatrace these are the three prerequisites we should have for this demonstration purpose to create the SSL certificate and in a web app I am just providing one powershell script so I will just give this information in the description also you just copy this information and open your PowerShell ISA as administrator and run this so that you can create the certificate and also in a demo web app. Let me open the PowerShell. This is the one I am talking. To create the certificate, you need to run this one. Let me run this. Okay. So that it will create a one certificate for you. Yes, it is completed successfully. Now the certificate is created. And then I will run these commands so that our small web app get ready now. So that you can log in to the particular web app and you can see the data also and the url for our web app is this one let me copy this one https localhost and 8443 is the port i just copied this information and now i'll go back to the our browser okay so now it is opening let me click on advance you are able to see that our website is ready ssl demo dynatrace Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I'll just give this particular script uh, in the description. You can run this in the ISC and your web app is ready. So after once your demonstration is done even in your laptop, then if you want to delete that one, you need to use this particular command to delete the certificate from the uh, laptop. Okay, so now our web app is ready. Let me go into the Dynatrace and I'll show you the steps. Okay, this is our Dynatrace console. To do the SSL certificate monitoring, you should go into the hubs. For that, just click on the apps and then type hub here. Then click on the hub. We have the search result hub, right? Just I'll click on that. So hub is like a container, you can see, where you can have the different kind of extension which we can use for the monitoring like AWS, Azure, SSL, SQL, MySQL. So many things are available here. You can see altogether 688 different things you can do the monitoring in the Dynatrace. So now we are very much interested in the SSL part. So I will type SSL here and you are able to see SSL certificate monitor. Let me click on that. So if this SSL certificate monitor is not installed, you will get this particular option that is install. If it is already installed, you will directly get configure option here. Since this is the first time I'm doing here, I'll get the install option so we can install it in our environment. Okay, now the page is open. We can choose any one of these options. For example, activate extension SSL certificate monitor and the version is here. Then choose where to run the extension. You can choose any one option here like active gate, single host, right? The host group, environment, many options here. But most preferable option is active gate. You should install the environment active gate in your environment. Uh, the Dynatrace environment and you can take use of this one. To do the SSL certificate monitoring Dynatrace, make sure ActiveGate is installed on your environment. That is an important feature. First, we need to check whether ActiveGate is installed or not. For that, I'll just go into the Dynatrace console. I'll just click on apps and then and here I'll search by the name deploy. You can see that deployment status. One option is there. Let me click on that. Okay, now the page is open. If I go to the second option that is active gate, okay, we don't have any active gates installed on this environment. That's what you are seeing. No active gates detected. So as I said, to do the SSL monitoring, we should have the active gate. How to do the active gate installation? That's very simple and straightforward. Here you will find an option called install active gate. Just click on that. Okay, since I have Windows environment, so I'll just go ahead and click on this Windows and then i'll just click on generate a token or create a token then i'll mention this one as a root one agent topic to dynatrace monitor cloud environment monitor the remote technologies with extension okay 
I'm okay with this one. So let me click on download installer. Now the uh, Dynatrace ActiveGate downloaded successfully. If I go into the download section, we are able to see that. And now we need to install that. We can double click on this particular application, it will get installed automatically. Or if you want to use from the command prompt, just copy this particular command run in the PowerShell ISC as admin. So whichever is convenient for you, you can take use of that one. So let me go back into the downloads. I'll just double click on this so that it will install the Dynatrace ActiveGate successfully in our environment. Next, next, install. Okay. Meanwhile, if I click on the show deployment status, we can see what all of the models are installed so far. Okay. Now, uh, it is showing one ActiveGate. Earlier it was nothing, right? Now we have installed it on our laptop and if I click on the scroll, bar, uh, scroll down button, you are able to see what all of the modules are installed so far. Now uh, these are the three modules installed so far. Okay. Now it is installed successfully. You can see on the screen also, right? Dynatrace ActiveGate Setup Wizard completed successfully. Let me click on the finish and now I'll expand this option so that you are able to understand completely. Yes. Earlier there were only few options, right? Now you are able to see different models here. AWS, Azure, Cloud, HTTP, Kubernetes, Log Monitoring, everything is here, right? Now, since the ActiveGate is installed successfully, now I can start doing the SSL monitoring with the help of this ActiveGate. To achieve that one, we should go into the Hubs section. Let me go into the Hubs. Right now, we are in the Hubs. We are able to see 688 different things here. But we are very much interested in the SSL Certificate Monitor part. So, I will type by the name SSL so that you can see SSL certificate monitor. Let me click on that. Since the SSL certificate monitor extension is already installed, I am able to see it as configure. If it is not installed, then you will find an option called install. You simply need to click on install. That is more than sufficient. It will get installed successfully. Okay, so since it is already installed, I'll just click on this configure option. And here you can provide the necessary information as per the business requirement. If you come down, so here you will find an option called add domains. So let me click on that. Inside the items, you need to provide the exact domain details. For example, in my environment, this is my domain name. In the real time, it would be like www.google.com or servicenow.com. Something like that it is, right? Depending on the business requirement. Since it is a demo lab, uh, so I'm just created on my own. So this is how you need to give, okay? So once you have given, if you want to add multiple domain names here, you can click on add domain and provide the other domain details as well here. So after that, you can click on enable the debugging, enable the verbose debugging, loggings, everything. Then click on next and provide the name for this one. I will give it as SSL cert monitoring, right? That's it. If you come down, you are able to see right enhanced metric. The name is certificate status. So this information you are, you are able to see in the uh, data explorer. I, I'll show that part as well. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll just click on save this option. Okay. Now everything is saved. Close. Okay. Let me click on configure again so that you are able to see the one which we have configured now. Earlier it was empty, right? But now we are able to see it. And it will take some time to change the status. Right now it is in pending. Within few minutes, it will change it to OK. And if there are any errors, then it will change the status into the error and, uh, and the, it will change the color also into the red state. And also you will get the complete information here. Right now it is showing as none, right? After everything is configured successfully, you are able to see the different thing here. Right now it is none then you are able to see how we are in the health state and if you want to see the more information then you can go into the health section where you are able to see the data like what exactly happening in the ssl certificate monitoring like if i change into last 30 minutes is there any certificate monitoring is imported uh, is that active gate is assigned to that or not all the information you are able to see it right now you are able to see some information here right now it is showing information everything is uh, you can see in a monitoring configuration is created and then fail to assign the monitoring configuration to the active gate 
so we are able to see that and monitoring configuration is deleted like whatever we do there inside that ssl configuration uh, page you are able to see that so i have deleted whatever i have created earlier that is what it is giving it as deleted but no need to worry so let me wait for a few seconds or few minutes so that you can get the complete information that whatever i created now okay now you can see the status right earlier it was pending now it is changed to the okay and here also you can see some more information like configuration something is in a green color and something is in a red color if you wait for a few more minutes it is completely turn it to green color only since uh, two of the ssl certificate monitor which i have created earlier i have deleted that that information is still present it is taking some more time to uh, delete that one and now i'll go to the health section you are able to see more data there and you can see right select time frame option is there based on the requirement you can select it for example if i choose the last 30 minutes based on that it is going to give the data here and if you come down you are able to see the logs and also the post details i have imported that certificate on this particular laptop right or uh, this particular machine that's what you are seeing here configuration that's equal to one all the information are here if you come down you are able to see the logs like whatever i have done everything is get captured here you can see right i have deleted a few things as i said earlier that information is also here monitoring configuration is deleted and i have deleted one more that information is also there and after that for demonstration purpose i have created one more that is what it is showing here successfully assigned the monitoring configuration to the active gate startup then ok and then monitoring configuration updated um after that some more errors and again finally it turned the status into the ok that's how you can see the complete log information here along with this also you can see the information you know in the data explorer also let me open the data trace in one more tab and here i will search for data explorer okay data explorer classic is there let me click on that right now the page is open inside the select metric i will search by the name certificate status hope you remember right i have shown you at the time of configuration there was a metric called certificate status you are able to see the same thing here yeah certificate status is there right let me click on that so that you are able to get the data in the dashboard like whatever the data we get in the data explorer right we can pin this information into the dashboard you can see right pin dashboard or open with the different options like dashboards or notebooks and then you can take use of this information for the different different things right now if i click on the run query you are able to see the data right certificate status equals to one so that means everything is fine and you can make some changes here like you can split the different certificates based on the you know common name or let me run the query again and you can see right now the a common name like what the certificate i'm using and the common name for this one is localhost if you are having the multiple certificates monitoring then you are able to see all the information here likewise you can you know or split for the different thing also for example if you want based on the host port just click on the host port and then click on run query and you're able to see that uh, in my port right now it is 8443 that's what you are seeing it here right so it's up to the requirement you can see the expiry range also like what are the expiry range like greater than 30 days something like that you can see right greater than 30 how many are there all these things you can do with the help of data explorer and then you can pin the same information in the dashboard or okay i want to split it something based on the you know common name again and then run on query and you are able to see the data this information i want to pin into the dashboard if you have the dashboard earlier that you can choose here based on the requirement if you don't have anything you can create one for example i will give this one something like ssl monitoring okay and then click on pin so now this information get added into the dashboard if you want to see that one just click on open dashboard so that you are able to see the complete information of this one in the dashboard okay this is how you can configure the ssl certificate monitoring it's very straightforward just you need to install the ssl monitor extension then 
click on the configuration part and add the domain names based on the requirement that's it and to do all those things uh, before we need to install the active gate so after the active gate only we can do monitoring up SSL certificates and I will show you one more thing here if you go into the search and type the certificate there is one more section where you can get the detailed information about the all the SSL things you can see right certificate monitor overview let me click on that so that you can get the detailed information about the certs right meanwhile I'll show you the information in the dashboard you can see right this is how you can see the dashboard I'll just click on done and if you want to see the information in a different format that's also possible just click on edit and choose the different options here like pi or top list or single value depending on requirement you can do that one right and more about the dashboard i already explained in another video if you are not at watch that please uh, check my dynatrace playlist and you can check out the dynatrace dashboard video so that you will completely understand how to create the dashboard from scratch to the advanced level okay so right now we are in the new section here i'll just make it as a last 30 minutes so that you are able to see information here okay let me review the code accept and run okay you are you can able to see the information right certificate monitors equal to one because we are doing only one monitor that's what that's what you are able to see it here certificate details and then what is the certificate we are monitoring you can see that information here while not after what is the tls all these things are here right either you can take use of the data explorer classic to get the complete information or else you can directly go into this particular section and you can see all the data here right you can see the certificate monitors we are doing the ssl set monitoring and along with that if you want to do any segmentation here you can choose here and you can create the different segments here depending on the requirement so overall what are the things we need to consider when we are doing the SSL monitoring let me open a notepad and give you the summary what we discussed today you can see right first we need to create the SSL certificate and then web app of that and then active gate after doing all these prerequisite steps we just go into the hub section and then search for SSL cert monitoring and then we can configure the required things there by using the active gate here you need to provide the different domain names and then click on submit it will take few minutes and then it will give the complete information so earlier it will be in the pending state then it will change the status to ok if there are any issues that time it will change into the warning or error state you can get the more information in the health section and along with that if you want to create any dashboards for that you can take use of data explorer classic tab okay and if you want to view the more information you can search by the name certificate in the search bar you can get one option that is in that also you will get the detailed information okay Hope you got complete idea on SSL monitoring. Thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now.